And now for our dinosaur of the day, Unalagia, which was a request from Tyrant King on Patreon and our Discord, so thank you. It was a dromaeosaur theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous and what is now South America. Only the leg length is known, so it's not clear how long Unalagia was, but estimates are anywhere from 6.6 feet or 2 meters to 11 feet or 3.5 meters long and weighing 165 pounds or 75 kilograms. It probably had an elongated head, and this is based on its relatives, Butyraptor and Ostroraptor. The pelvic region was similar to Archaeopteryx. Originally, it was thought that the shoulder girdle was adapted for flapping and that this showed that flight started with flapping, which is still a big debate today on how flight evolved. And this is because they saw this flat scapula on top of the rib cage so that the shoulder joint could point more laterally. But in 2002, Kenneth Carpenter found that the scapula was probably on the side of the rib cage. Womp womp. Yep. Philip Center suggested that theropods like Unanlagia couldn't lift their forelimbs above their back. Not everybody agrees with these ideas. Some scientists think that if the scapula was in the lateral position, the coracoid bone would jut into the rib cage, and that, that just wouldn't make sense. There are two species, Unanlagia comohuensis, which is the type species, and Unanlagia penamilli. It was described by Fernando Novas and Pablo Puerta in 1997, and the genus name means half bird, and that's in the language of the indigenous Mapuche people. The species name of the type species refers to Comahue, which is the region where it was found. The holotype includes a partial skeleton, no skull, but they had vertebrae, sacrum, ribs, chevrons, scapula, humerus, partial pelvis, femur, and tibia. That's not too bad. Yeah, so you can still figure out a lot about the dinosaur. A second skeleton was found in 2002, and that was the one that was named and described in 2004 as Unalagia penamilli. The second species was described by Jorge Calvo and others, and that was, in, again, in 2004. They found a holotype and several paratypes, and the species name is in honor of Maximino Penamil, who's chief of the Penamil community. Unalagia penamilli is more gracile than Unalagia comohuensis. In 2005, Makovicki and others found Neocon raptor argentinus to be a junior synonym of Unalagia comohuensis, Unalagia was the first theropod found in Argentina that was considered to be a dromaeosaurid. Novas and Puerta considered it to be a link between birds and manoraptoran theropods. Yeah, it's a really interesting dinosaur. And I think there's actually a group called like Unalagians or something like that, which is maybe a subset of dromaeosaurs, depending on who you ask, which is kind of an interesting thing because nobody ever really talks about these dromaeosaurs from South America. We all focus on Velociraptor from Mongolia and, you know, Utah Raptor from the U.S. That's pretty much where most people stop. <laughs> well, except for people like us and people who listen to us. <laughs> we never stop. <laughs> Just keep digging. <laughs> well, figuratively, not literally. Yeah, we don't keep digging. We pay attention to other people's digging. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 